I'm so discombobulated. I forgot to unmute my mic. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Once again, my name is Brandon. I'm an acting coach, and today I'm doing something that I didn't know for sure that I would ever do again. But despite the struggles that I've had with certain collected groups of her fan base, Angelina Jordan is one of the most um, lovely voices from a young artist that I've heard in a very long time. I cannot ignore her entirely or forever. Um, you know, I just can't. I can't do it. It has been a long time since I have reacted to anything of hers. I tried doing some reactions to her and pumping out a few. Somebody was buying them through or, or requesting them through the, the Jump the Line program that I have. So I really didn't have a choice for a little while there to to pop out some of her content on my channel. And things were okay for a little while, but then they started getting a little more aggressive. And just it, you know, her, her, her fans, look, people get in the comments and tell me, oh, just ignore the haters, you know. That's not the majority of her fans. Just, just don't pay attention to those comments. And that's all well and good and everything. But the truth is, this gig here, doing this, these reaction videos and doing other things online publicly is already incredibly stressful. Okay, it's really stressful. And it doesn't pay great. The, the, uh, the ad revenue on these videos is next to nothing. And even, even when I do get paid, but in half of these videos get copyright claimed. So I, I'm not really getting a ton out of this financially i'm just putting a bunch of time a bunch of energy into it i love doing it i want to keep doing it i want to turn it into something real but one thing i don't need is more negativity <laughs> so i tend to i tend to shy away from it i'm not afraid to admit it i'm not ashamed of admitting it if the comment section gets too too uh negative i just back out i just bow out i don't need that in my life there's so many artists out there who have these fan bases who are incredibly lovely and welcoming and kind open understanding when i make mistakes they they, they uh, at least appreciate that i try to be honest when critiquing their artists if you're an angelina Jordan fan and you want to show the spirit and love that angelina appears to show to her fans and to the community at large you want to show that spirit of generosity and kindness that she has every time she gets in front of a microphone hop in those comments tell me something nice today and uh, even if we disagree we can still be kind to each other, right? That's kind of the goal. Man, I never do this. This is so weird for me jumping into a video like this, but this was pretty new, not very new. It's Love Don't Let Me Go, the visualizer. I don't know why we started this visualizer thing, what that even means. It's just a music video. I don't understand the difference, to be honest. Maybe somebody can explain it to me. This has been up for about a month. I'm a little late to the party, but uh, you all know why now, because I've, you know, just blurted it all out at the beginning of the video. I haven't listened to anything from her in a long time. I'm kind of missing it because she's kind of awesome. She's pretty amazing. And I want to jump back into some of her content. If you're watching on YouTube and you can tolerate these kinds of rambling rants, do me a favor, hit that like button, let the YouTube algorithm know you're enjoying what you're watching. Get down in the comments. Let me know something else of Angelina's or something else of your favorite artists that you'd like me to react to. There's also several ways to support the channel down there from the Patreon and YouTube memberships is down there, but there's also a, a way to request specific videos and have them done. I, you, you get me bound by contract. I have to do them and I have to do them quickly. Uh, so if there's something you want to see me react to and you don't want to wait months out potentially for me to finally get to it, to get down there and jump the line with one of those offers through the PayPal and I'll get on that for you right away. Uh, us YouTubers, we're out here, we're busking. We're basically, we're basically street performers working for tips out here. So consider supporting the channel. For those of you who have supported the channel for so long now, almost two years, I appreciate you so much. You're the reason I'm here still being able to do what I'm doing, annoying people with these long rambly things when they're just like, get to the music. So we're going to do that. We're just going to, I'm just going to shut up and we're just going to get to the music. Love the kind of vintage style she's always coming with. Love that a lot. It's one of my favorite things about her, actually. She's so tall. I forget how tall she is. The classic car. The hairstyle. It's everything, right? Love that wobbly vibrato she's got going on. Gorgeous. I'm trying to pull you close, closer to me, but it's just like trying to 
Nice. A little bit. Great. Okay, so there was one thing right there that I noticed um, that I, I, I don't think I've ever seen from her before specifically. Um, there's this, um, oh, God, I'm trying to remember the line, the line, the lyric, because something happened with my technical stuff here. The machinery kind of screwed up, and now I've gotten distracted, and I can't remember. Hold on, let's, let's, let's um, listen to it again. Sorry. Maybe I could Right there. All right, there it was. It was when she says, I'm on the floor begging. The tone of the song has been pretty similar. She, her performance has been pretty consistent. But when she says, I'm on the floor, right, uh, that her, her lip kind of got kind of an Elvis position, right? The side of her lip came up. A little bit of disdain happening. The, sort of this gritty uh, um, attitude. The idea that, look, I'm on the floor. I'm doing, I, I'm I'm begging here. Like, this isn't me being pretty and girly and cutesy and like, oh, please, you know, whatever. No, this is me. Like, I'm down in the dirt, right? Whatever this thing is, like, I want this, right? This, this is, I'm serious about this. It was just a really cool little moment that I saw on her, in her facial expressions that really helped drive home the intent of the lyric and that's really good interpretation it's really good instinct it's a great way to characterize the narrator the singer the person who's behind the lyrics she definitely wrote this right this is her song great job really was impressed by that so loving the style and all that the, the fact that this is an original song and that it's it's got such a vintage feel is really cool she does this one thing where she's got this little catch in her voice it's not over stylized really cute very kind of sultry uh, uh sort of billy holiday vibes the jazzy feel of it and I'm loving that it's not super over stylized. I heard some stuff from her in the past that I felt like she kind of went overboard with some of her sort of trademark sounds. But being so young, man, that's just part of the part of the vibe. You just kind of grow up, keep trying things. You push the envelope as far as you can until you find what works and then you whittle it down. What I'm seeing here is a more finished product. It's it's um the result of all this time she spent on stage in studio working on her craft, getting better, learning and developing, learning who she is as a singer and developing her sound. I mean, she feels pretty close to complete here. This is very impressive. Nice. So much intensity. Always loved her low register. A little bit of a smile there. Digging the old Hollywood vibe. A little bit of stink. Look at that look on her face right here. On go. Look at that. That was good. That was really good. Very impressive. That was beautiful. Okay, so that was Angelina Jordan. Love, don't let me go. Like, if I were going to offer any kind of critique at all, the only thing, actually, that, that I would offer is that it's a little formulaic. It was very, you know, sort of A, B, A, B start. It was, like, pretty pretty cookie cutter, which may actually be intended. I mean, if, if her team or whoever's, you know, strategizing for her career right now is thinking, hey, listen, we've got, we, we want to go safer the 
format. We want to go safer with the style, give people something that they're expecting, something they're used to, you know, that's familiar to the ear, this particular style, this formula of song, you know, uh, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, because we have an artist with such a unique voice and such a unique sound uh, for the time, maybe that they figure they can get away with it and it's no big deal. That would be the only thing that I can think of that, that I wouldn't even say that I didn't like. It's just something I noticed that maybe you could level up. Beyond that, Angelina did a beautiful job. Her performance to the camera was great. She really knew how to to utilize the spaces that she was in. The design was really cool. I'd love to know who's working with her as far as cinematography and, and art design and that kind of thing. She strikes me as the kind of person who would be involved in all that stuff. Of course, vocally, it was gorgeous. There wasn't too many embellishments. I love that really fluttery uh, vibrato she has, especially down toward the low end of her voice. It's really, really uh, alluring, very enticing, very attractive, beautiful. It, it sounds good to the ear. It just kind of feels good like butter. So yeah, all good things. All good things for this one. I love this. This was uh, Angelina Jordan singing Love Don't Let Me Go. The visualizer, I'm pretty sure this is a new song or one of her, her original songs. And it's fairly new. I don't know how, how new exactly. The video is about a month old. I'm considering checking out some more of her stuff. I'm being a little tentative. I know I'm probably getting on some people's nerves. Listen, whether or not I continue to cover her will have a lot to do with comments down below. Let's see who comes out for this one. Let's see who leaves comments for this one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here once again. Uh, if you did enjoy this and you're watching on YouTube and you're still here, here. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave me a comment, check the description for all the things. Uh, I really enjoyed having you here. Thank you so much uh, once again for uh, sort of sharing in, the, in these uh, moments with me. Please remember, as always, to be kind to each other, and most importantly, be kind to yourself.